Hello. Just going to do a quick review of this Wimius Action Cam Q1. I've had some good fun with it. Especially for the price. I'd consider it to be very cheap. And I've kind of learned how to use it now, so this could be a fairly fair review. But it's not going to be unbiased because I really like it. And it's that simple. Now it's got a little interesting feature. You can change the field of view. And I didn't realise how this worked. It's not documented. Uh, you press and hold the buttons. Now the Wi-Fi one at the top, I keep pressing that. And it puts this Wi-Fi screen up. It's extremely annoying. But if you press and hold it, it actually zooms it in. And same with the bottom one. Uh, I found that because all the buttons are so small. Every time I pick it up, I press something. This is just a video of the back of it. You know, it's obviously not a screen grab. I've taken it with my camera, but it's not that useful. Not not in reality because it, you lose a lot of quality, and uh, I personally don't think it's worth it. You can see it on this slow motion shot. It's already at seven twenty. Uh, resolution and this just makes it look worse you see it's blocky and the exposure is a bit weird as well that could have been the lighting though now I have a problem uh, playing mp4s on this computer so I have to screen grab it with the uh, Microsoft expression screen grabber so don't take any notice of the frame rate uh, or oh, really the resolution is not as good as you actually get from the the camera this is just showing you the zoom mode so this is full full motion video 1080p uh, and that's zoomed in uh, and that's just a screen grabber so you know I'm not giving you a load of BS that's me normal camera I'm just videoing it so it gives you an idea of the detail level that's it zoom the uh, action camera zoomed out but Obviously, you're within the wrong distance for any clarity at that. The focus that the action camera's got. And then just show you the, there's a cup there with the cartoon on it. And you can, you can see the pixelization. And now I zoom out and it's back to its normal clarity. This is some of the other screen grabs. This is slow motion 720p. Uh, the MP4 files do not play properly on this uh, computer. And also your lighting conditions, shooting into light is never good on any camera. And that's a time lapse with my uh, improvised device that I made. I might do a little video on that. Anyway, this is this, the specs of the camera. It's, it's good uh, 16 megapixels it's quite a good spec for the uh, sub 50 pound price with a 16 gig memory card and lots of other accessories thrown in I've done another video with an unboxing kind of thing uh, have a look on there if you're interested in what you get with it two batteries though it's a great little camera it does everything that I wanted it to do and, and more as well I didn't expect it to be anything like as good as it is you can't expect the quality of getting an SLR but tiny little lens like that performance is fantastic and it's got all the features that I want which was I only wanted it for time lapse on top of all that I've dropped it twice from quite a height obviously that wasn't my fault someone else was to blame it's really good I can't recommend it any higher. Less than fifty pounds. Brilliant. I almost forgot it does four K at thirty frames a second. Look on my channel. Uh there's some undoctored footage on there. I've just uploaded it straight to YouTube. Uh some ten eighty P as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.